Previously on Morrowind, I've spent the last few weeks brown nosing the counselors of House Redoran. It's the only way to become a full councilman. The things these councilmen asked for were no small tasks. Mainly, I was tasked with shutting down Caldera Mine and starting a slave revolt. I wonder if Caius would be proud of me, or would he be angry that I've disrupted the Empire's ebony operations? At the very least, the people operating the mines were corrupt slavers, so I don't feel too bad. One man, Miner Erebar, seems to be the lone councilman who refuses to support my advancement into the Redoran inner circle. At least construction has begun on my new stronghold, Bal Isra. From here, I can protect and support House Redoran, and maybe finally get the respect I deserve. Hello, and welcome back to some more Morrowind with Valjan Salas. So, we are just outside of our home here, Bal Isra, the house that we got for working with House Redoran. It's a dinky little place, but we're going to fix it up this episode. Hello? You hear about the stronghold? Tell Galsa Gindu things are fine here. The work will be done soon. I am the foreman here at Indaris Manor. I keep the workers in line and make sure the job gets done. Oh, I thought there would be uh, more for us to do. Says we should wait one week. I'm just going to do it now. I want the stronghold built this episode. So we're just going to wait a week. Like I said, normally I don't like doing this, but I kind of just want the house. Okay, so that's a week. Do we actually need to go report? Yeah, I think we have to report back into her. So I'm going to mark this spot. And then we should be able to um, CV straight to... Nope, we're in Margon. All right. So we can divine intervention to Buckmoth and then um, CV to Eldred. So that's actually like... A decent place for us to mark because we can always get to Aldrune. Now we can't get to the inside where at the very back of the very back the lady with the stronghold is but what can you do? I really should increase my speed at some point. So I've been doing a lot of testing lately to try to get Morrowind to run better for me and I made a new character to test it out and I just could not believe how fast I was. <laughs> <laughs> with with just like the default speed or whatever. I didn't even pick speed as one of my attributes and I was moving so fast and I'm like, I've forgotten what it's like to move at a regular speed in this game. It's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. Is there something you need? Are you here to discuss your stronghold? Yes. Uh, did we mess up the order of this? Should we be waiting a week now for the stronghold? Yes, tell me about my stronghold. The foundations for your stronghold are complete. If you wish to build the next stage of your stronghold, you must hire guards to garrison your stronghold. Sure, where do I hire guards from? Speak with Perseus Mercius at the local guild of fighters. They usually have a few good Redoran fighters out of work. They usually know a few. Sweet. We get our own personal guards. I spent the last week basically trying to fix my Morrowind. There was nothing wrong with it from a like game perspective I think I've only had like one bug and there's a way to fix it um, this was more like personally so my refresh rate on my monitor is 144 which is pretty high for a game like Morrowind but the whole point of open MW which is what I'm running Morrowind on is that you can run it at higher frame rates and not have any issues like you do in some well like you do in original Morrowind and other Bethesda games. Nera Benaren was once a member of House Redoran. Now he's just the leader of an outlaw band in Sargon north of Margan. Oh yeah I forgot about that mission we picked up so long ago. No I'm just here to fire higher guards. I know a few men who can garrison your stronghold and I'll even recommend them to you for free, but first you'll have to get my friend Freyline Aquiz out of prison. She's being held in the prison under the Hlalu Canton in Vivek. Find a way to get her out and report back to me. Okay, that was not what I was expecting to do, but another opportunity to screw over House Hlalu, what's not to like. Morrowind, for me, would always run okay, but then it would stutter every couple seconds, especially in towns, and it was kind of pissing me off a lot. So I'm like, you know what, before I record next time, I really want to 
to fix this. I want this to be smooth next time I record. We make a special trip just for you. And I think I fixed Thank it, you. which is insane because in my experience, everything you ever look up online never actually fixes your problem with computers or games or anything, at least for me. It's always like, oh, update your drivers, update your, you know, DirectX, update Windows, and it just makes it worse or doesn't do anything. And I'm like, oh, but I actually found a solution that fixed it. And I found out one of my mods was causing the game to stutter every five or 10 seconds. Got rid of that mod and now it doesn't happen anymore. And so I'm not always running at 144 frame rate, but I'm running without lag, which is all I really care about. But yeah, so like I said, it's kind of technical, kind of boring, but it has been such a, I don't know if relief is the right word, just like I feel very accomplished because I was able to fix that. It, it's not something I don't think that ever shows up in recordings. I don't really understand how all that works, but when I record, it records in 60 frames. So I don't think it ever actually shows up in the recording, any stutter, but it would show up while I was playing. It was driving me insane because I, in the past when I've played Morrowind, even on the old engine, but especially on OpenMW, I've never had any problems with it stuttering or, you know, it's a freaking 20 year old game. It should run super, super well in theory. So it's like, no, the game's running better for me, so it makes it easier and more enjoyable for me to play because I'm not stuttering every two seconds. Obviously, I can play the game. I've been playing it for, for months now. It's just, it got so annoying, especially in the big cities. I don't like you, okay. stranger. So we need to rescue his friend and they are in the prison and the Hlalu Canton. Yeah, so I don't think you guys will notice a difference. Every time I watch replays of my recordings, they always looked fine. It's more, it was more for my sake because that it was it was getting to the point of maybe not unplayable but very very frustrating to go through every time you walk you it, anywhere and it stutters like and i don't know if it got worse over time because i don't really remember it being an issue when i first started recording but anyways the way i fixed it the mod that caused this problem was that follower mod I had called Attend Me. And I don't know why that would cause a constant stutter no matter where you are to the point of dropping your frames and causing lots of issues. So I had to get rid of that mod, which sucks balls because that is a super cool mod. And it makes, like I said before, it makes the followers and the escort missions not so terrible. So I don't, I mean, it really sucked. I did not want to remove that mod. I tried to do everything to keep it, but it was just the root of all of my issues. So we don't have that mod anymore. Hopefully we don't have to escort people. <laughs> Hello. Percy has sent you. Can you help me escape? Sure. These ordinators are tough. If you open the door, we can make a run for it. Or if you find the key to these cells, I'll bide my time and sneak out when the ordinators aren't watching. All the guards use the same key for all the cells. I'm sure there's one somewhere nearby. I'll find the key. It's kind of, it's a little funny how we're sort of getting into the shady aspects of uh, House Redoran, huh? So our last two like real missions have been stealing keys. You're not exactly charming your way into my grace, you friend. Can you help me escape? Yes, here's the key. This is it. I'll bide my time until the guards aren't watching. Then I'll make my escape. Tell Perseus to expect me in a few days. Sweet. Good day, sir. This is how we're gonna have to get around. <laughs> Let's be, can only mark one place. Speaking of, if you ever notice that my mark and recall menus are different, how it's like a list, it's because I have a mod that lets me mark multiple locations as your alteration goes up. Or is it mysticism? Yeah, mysticism. As my mysticism goes up, I'm able to mark more places. I've, I've usually always kind of had a mod for that, and that's because I'm lazy. <laughs> There's not really any other excuse. 
I just like to mark certain places. Let me know how you feel about that. Not that our spellcasting and especially mysticism is going anywhere, but let me know if you are okay with that or if you'd rather I just kept it at one marked location like how it is in vanilla Morrowind. All it does is save me editing time, basically. And I guess it would also technically lower our athletics leveling speed, but that's whatever. Speaking of, we should be leveling that up. It's 100 out of 100. Uh, yeah, so just, there you go. Let me know how you feel about that. It hasn't come into play yet because our magic's so horrible. I'm back, Perseus. Higher guards. Oh, you were able to f get Freylene Aquiz out. I will take your word for it. I'll have a few of our better fighters sent over to your stronghold, Valjan Celis. Perfect, perfect. So, do I need to go back to the stronghold or go tell what's her bucket? Galsa. Man, I can't remember her name for the life. I don't know why. But yeah, sorry for sort of rambling at the beginning there. That's just what has been going on this last week. Good things for the most part. Sucks we lost that mod, but Beautiful night. if the game is more playable for me, that motivates me to keep recording and keep playing this game, of course. Also, it's it's been almost two weeks now, but I did record that Vampire the Masquerade video as sort of the introduction to my series called like Let's Try, where we're going to try out a bunch of games. So if you haven't watched that, check that out. That's a great game. I sort of... I don't make it very far, I do pretty much the tutorial, but it's an ancient old classic and I'm hoping I help you? to make more videos of old games like that and, and play them and test them out on the channel and see, see your guys' opinions on them. Yes, my stronghold. The foundations for your stronghold are complete. If you wish to build the next stage, you must hire guards. I did. Percy's Mercius agreed to garrison your stronghold. Good. I will give the orders to begin the next phase of construction. Cool. So we have to wait again. I think so. There we are. Uh, update me on the stronghold. The second stage of your stronghold is complete. Speak with me again when you need a stronghold fit for a house veteran counselor. Oh, is it because I'm not a high enough rank? Okay, well that kind of <clears throat> throws a spanner in the works. We need to rank up. Last time we were messing around with it, we actually weren't able to rank up because not all the counselors support me. Oh. <laughs> what? Okay, so I was pretty sure uh, Minor Aerobar was the one preventing our prevention, but apparently it was our stronghold being built that was. So yeah, you have won the support of some of the counselors and you have built a stronghold. You deserve the title of House Father. Do you have any more duties? To become a counselor yourself, you must win the support of the remaining counselors, Minor Aerobar and Garissa Lelethri. You must also hire a garrison for your stronghold, which we've done. We've already gotten Garissa. You have won the support of Garissa Lorethi. You have also won honor for House Redoran and shutting down the Ebony Mines and Caldera. But you must also win the support of Minor Aerobar and garrison in your stronghold. Alright, tell me about minor Aerobar, because he, he wouldn't support me. He did not even consider your case. This is troubling. I believe from this and from his recent votes on the council that he may be under Telvani influence. That's pretty likely. Go to Sajith Mora and find out who is influencing him and how. Before we do that, we need to go back to Galsa and make sure our stronghold is completing now that we are an actual Father, house father. I am ready to give you a stronghold fit for a house veteran counselor, but first you must speak with Hetman Gulls at your stronghold, asking what must be done to attract more settlers. Okay. I suppose we can. Ooh, we got walls. I suppose we can talk. What do you want? Attract more settlers. We are happy here, but the town would prosper if there were more women. <laughs> Most men here are single and need wives. I'm sure there are many single women in Aldrun who would move here. You could ask there. If you could not find any wives, you could buy slaves in Telerun and bring them here. Many would prefer marriage over slavery. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think that's a good idea. 
Do you have any news? I, I would also prefer marriage over slavery. <laughs> so, it's a horrifying cliff racer shadow. Pardon me, but there's a very strange man in my house and he won't leave. Will you get him out of there, please? He, he, yes. He's talking to himself. He won't listen to me. He looks very strange. He stares at me funny. And he seems to have lost his shirt. <laughs> Please get him out of there. He's scaring me. No. Sleepers, Just Dreamer. How's Dagoth is risen? You have betrayed Lord Dagoth. Taste his vengeance. No. You will suffer Okay, well, seem to be a lot of House Dagoth issues in this town, doesn't there? You are the one who took care of that strange man in my house, thank you. I'll tell everyone how kind and brave you've been. Goodness, is he dead? How unpleasant. Was it very dangerous? I'm sorry. I really have nothing to give you but my thanks. But I'll tell everyone how kind and brave you were to help me. Would you like to be a wife? Try asking Athusa Garethi at the Aldscar Inn. Okay. I guess not. You'll just have to uh, remove that body by yourself, though. Good luck. Hopefully you don't get corpus disease. Is it you? Yes. Do you, would you like to be a wife? <laughs> what? Why would I leave here with a complete stranger to marry a man I've never met? <laughs> she brings up a very good point. <laughs> Let's give her some gold. <laughs> Come on, he's probably a nice guy. I understand what you're asking and I'm not offended, but I'm not sure I should leave Alderun. What about now? No. Huh? Huh? Wait, if I understand you, you're saying that this Indaris Manor has a dozen eligible men and there are only a few women there and that you want me to move there to find a husband, right? That's right. Okay, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Just let me take care of a few things here in town and I'll pay a visit to Indara's Manor. Is that enough women? <laughs> Is one enough? Maybe we could get the Ar Argonian there. Need wives. Do you think I'd just marry anyone? Y yes, if I gave you enough gold, you probably will. Okay, I might as well try looking around in Dara's Manor. There certainly aren't any real men around here. <laughs> Welcome, friend. You're nearly a lead. You're nearly a legend around here. Huh. That's kind of cool. I've never heard that one before. Have you asked Aaron Orethi? Yes. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> so nice that the people of Aldrun are actually kind to Valdrin. <laughs> I think it's because House Redoran, because we're part of it, and then our reputation is actually going up a lot. 15. It's not too bad. I mean, it's not great, but uh, let's go. We need to get to... Saran. Make a special trip. Just maybe we'll find some wives in here. Go on. I can't stop. Hey there. Uh, do you, I need wives? Do you have any? I'm sorry if you have the wrong impression. My girls are dancers, nothing more. No, no, not for me. I need women to go to my manor. Hmm. That is an interesting offer. I will ask my girls. Perhaps some of the older ones are ready to settle down somewhere. I will ask them, but that is all I can promise. Welcome <laughs> to my house, friend. Make yourself. It's good. We need some, some dancers. That they don't Jeez. have girls like for free, Outlander. <laughs> Ain't that right, Outlander? <laughs> Go on. All right, let's head back. Guess to the house. Yeah, I got, I got some ladies. You have found women who will move here to Indaris Manor. I will tell the others. <laughs> Uh, I mean, there's one of them, right? Hey, no. Out or hit the I don't recruit you. I guess you were just already here. I guess she could be one of the dancers. I don't know. As long as they stay out of my house, I don't care what they do. One last stop at the stronghold, lady, Galsa. And then we will continue on with the house Redoran quest. I assume we're reaching the end of it. Considering our rank, our next rank is Councilman. I don't know. Maybe there's some secret super long story after after you become a Councilman. 
And I also want to make sure that we do all of the missions, even if they're not required for promotion. Like we're actually supposed to still go get armor for the blacksmith in here. We just haven't done it yet. Yes, I'm here to discuss my stronghold. I got a bunch of women. So, Hetman Gulls is satisfied. I will give the orders to begin the last stage of your stronghold. So because this is the last stage, I'm going to continue questing. And then at the very end, I will skip ahead however many days and we'll explore the house at the very end of the video. Okay, so we need to get to Sajith Mora. Sajith Mora. I don't even know anymore. I'm going to say Sajith because that's how it's spelled. Quickest way is, of course, the Mage's Guild. All right, can we ask anyone here about the counselor? Doesn't seem like it. Maybe we need to go into town. I guess we could just go straight up into the Telvani Tower and ask him, but I think they wouldn't tell us, huh? Hello? I'm in Garrett Hell, the Prefect of Hospitality here at the Gateway Inn. Should I, should I tell you about my trade or do you need hospitality papers? Hospitality papers. Or perhaps you're open to an offer of work. You, sir, have a lot to talk about. I'm just here for information. I heard that Master Naloth has some influence over Minor Aerobar. Okay. If you want to speak to him, he's in the upper tower of Tel Naga. There's a west-facing entrance from the upper terrace. I suppose you could get there from the Great Hall or Upper Hall, but it's confusing and you still have to fly. From the west-facing upper terrace entrance, just take the passage east to Master Neloth and you'll have to cross the central shaft. Don't fall down it. Well, I'm pretty good at crossing shafts, so this should be be pretty easy. Like your helmet, sir. I used to have a helmet like that. All right, we need to get up there. Man, how many rising force potions do we have? Okay, we have a couple. They're bargains, so they're terrible, but we do have them. Double the pain. There he is. Hello. Curiosity killed the Kajit Outlander. Weigh your words carefully. Tell me about Minor Aerobar. That's none of your business. Whatever you want, the answer is no. <laughs> Tell me about Minor Aerobar. It is none of your concern now if you don't have anything else to blather about. Suspicious. Well, that was a waste of um, rising force potions. At least we have slow fall. <laughs> Surely someone will tell us. You kind of look like a guard, so I'm not going to ask you. What about you? It's none of your business. What if I sweeten the deal? No. How hmm. wonderful. Welcome, Outlander. That guy likes us now, but he won't tell us anything. You flatter me with your attention. Maybe there's like some evidence down here we can find, or maybe someone in town can tell us something. I don't like you much. <coughs> uh, wait, what are you, his wife? Please help me. I'm being held hostage by Master Neloth. If you can get me out of here and we travel together to the Telvani docks, my father will reward you. Oh, so he's your dad. <coughs> Okay, I uh, <laughs> was not expecting to just walk into the answer to why he won't support us, but okay. I assume the guards are going to attack us, so let's get back our stamina. Take me to the Telvani docks, Falgen Sellis. Once I'm near a ship out of here, I will feel a lot safer. Now yep, I knew it. And, and uh, <laughs> Telvani... You know, mem members of Telvani cast spells who would have thunk. We uh, don't have any healing potions. <laughs> hey, wait for me. No, no, hey. You can't escape me. Don't kill her. I need her alive. Get back here, you silly goose. Yeah, destruction level up. Cool. Galmir. So yeah, immediately you can tell, okay, get out of the way, that we do not have that mod anymore for followers. 
this is some pretty good gear because her little nameplate with health is no longer up there. So that's annoying, but what can you do? You also have magic stuff? Yes, but it's not as good. And it also means she won't be teleporting to us, so... It's not too bad. I like how these guards just don't care. They're like, huh, she must not be a prisoner anymore. <laughs> oh my gosh. Open MW might change AI a little bit to make them smarter. I don't know. Kind of just have to deal with it. All right, you're free. Tell my father, Minor Arobar, that I have escaped. Now Neloth will no longer be able to influence him. Nice. Tell my father that I have escaped. Now Neloth will no longer be able to influence Or you could say it yourself. That helps me. Let's go tell the old Miner. I wonder if that's his actual name or if that's like a title. Because Miner is kind of a stupid name. It doesn't really sound like it would be yes, a hey, Dark Elves name, does it? Hail and welcome. Sounds more like a title, so maybe that's what it is. Do I remember where he is? I don't think I do. This is the crazy egg lady, so we're going in the right direction. There you are. You have rescued my daughter, Valjean Celis. I must apologize for the way I treated you. I will gladly offer my support and make you a councilman. Please take this amulet as a sign of my support. Also take this Redoran Master Helm. Sick. All the Redoran counselors have a Master Helm for rituals and public appearances. Here is a recent edition of the Red Book of that Great House Redoran. It lists the current Redoran counselors and their residences. Cool. So we got an amulet. Aerobar's amulet deals fire damage and gives us a fire shield. That's actually <clears throat> a pretty strong fire shield. It's kind of cool. And a master helmet. What can I do for the friend? And then uh, it's something. <laughs> it's it's a bug crab, but. At least it kind of matches our armor. I don't know. I'll wear it for now. Okay, so I guess we just need to talk to Serethi again and he'll promote us. Actually, speaking of, need one skill at 80. Ooh, we do not have a skill at 80. I think we're gonna need to go train again. Okay. Good night, citizen. Good night. All right, I'm gonna head back to Fort Moonmoth and train. Until we hit 80. I think we're at 71 right now. Oh man, are we gonna have enough money? I'll, I'll sell some stuff if we don't have enough money, which that should give us enough. So the other question is, should we keep the house in Balmora and keep decorating that, or should I move everything to our new house now? We make a special trip. Just Cause I kind of like the idea of so living at, at that Emperor manor. Emperor because now we're a part of House Redoran, so it's like, we have to, you know? All right, so I'm gonna train Longblade. We can, oh boy. <laughs> no, I'm not. We can't learn any more from him. Balls. Um, so we're at 74, we need six more. Man, and I was gonna use this money to level up our, our personality so we could join the temple, but we need to get our Longblade up. Yeah, 4,000 gold. Yeah, I'll I'll take it, but we're poor. We're poor all of a sudden. Training is expensive. All right, Aldrune. All right, so there is a trainer here, Shardy, Sharty. She sharts. Here, so move on. Excuse me, I don't talk to people I don't like. Okay, well now you like me, right? Get lost. Get lost. Get lost. Hello. Hello. There we go. We just had to spend all the money we just made bribing you so we could train from you for cheap. <laughs> Genius. Oh, good. And she's one of the ones that moves around. At least it's not very far. Another tourist. All right. 79. 80. Good enough. <laughs> Let's go become a councilman, maybe, potentially. Good night. We, we can just, uh, you know, all the all the time we spent waiting, we were mastering the art of the blade, of course. So it all makes sense. You know, we spent two weeks 
becoming a better sword master. That's what we were doing. Advancement? You have a good stronghold and you have the support of all the counselors except for Bolvin Venom. You deserve to be a councilman. You are a councilman of House Redoran. I cannot advance you further. If you want to become the Archmaster, you must defeat Bolvin Venom. While we often disagree on the council, he's the best general House Redoran has known for many generations. He brought House Redoran back from the brink of defeat. Alas, no man is perfect. He kidnapped my son. He is harsh on his servants. There are other crimes I am honor bound to keep secret. I believe you would make a better Archmaster. You temper your strength with mercy. Thank you. Bolvin Venim brought House Redoran back from the brink. And he's going to read exactly what I just read, but <laughs> I didn't know he was going to do that. I could have saved my voice. All right, let's go challenge Bolvin. It's high time Valjan Celis became the Archmaster of House Redoran. Where is he? Go through the door opposite the entrance and then up the stairs to the left. Thank you, sir. I'm going to kill your lord. <laughs> Challenge you to a duel. You will never be the Archmaster of House Redoran. Meet me at the arena in Vivek, where I shall prove my right to rule in a duel to the death. Cool, will I get all your ebony armor if, after I kill you? Because it does look pretty nice, not gonna lie. I already got the boots. Well, I guess we're uh, off to Vivek. Fastest way once again is through the Mages Guild. I don't know why I didn't go this way before. Okay, so we're actually kind of close to the Arena Canton. So we're not going to Elm CV to get to like the Temple District part. I will actually wait until daytime. So it's easier for you guys to see. I think that's the Arena over there. Yes. So... Jump, slow fall, we good. I think all we have to do is enter the arena and the duel just starts. I don't think it's anything grand like Oblivion is with an announcer and everything. I think it's just a duel to the death when you enter. Hopefully we can kill him. <laughs> I mean, we got our minions, we got our minions, so we should be fine. We haven't actually ran into anyone we couldn't kill for a while since we were doing some of those Fighters Guild quests. I think we've really ramped up since uh, we started the Fighters Guild, especially with these gloves. We don't fall down nearly as much as we were, so yeah, we should be able to do it. Especially if he's down there and we're up here. <laughs> Apparently I came in through the wrong door. <laughs> Well, if we had, well, we actually might have some scroll spells. No, no, we fight honorably Great. with Daedros and Flame Atronox. <laughs> Get him, boys. <laughs> Flame Atronox has to be probably the worst summon in the game because Dunmer are just resistant to fire. <laughs> Uh, let's uh, let's get let's get everyone here, right? Let's make it a party. It's been a while since we summoned everyone at once. <laughs> there you go, Bolvin Venom. He died as he lived in sand. A Daedric Die Katana. That is actually way better than what we are currently using. So yes. I mean, we're just gonna take all of this because it's worth a lot. But now we are over encumbered. Well, we can still teleport with our minions. I'm going to drop the Curus right there. Do you all right, something? you guys watch that. I'll be back for it. Staying safe. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, it might not be smart to put that Curus there because that region updates when the, when the stronghold gets built. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't disappear. Hey. You have won the duel against Bolvin Venom. You are now the Archmaster of House Redoran. May Vivek guide you to glory. You have defeated Bolvin Venom in an honorable duel. 
You have proven yourself worthy of the title of Archmaster. Congratulations, Valjean Celis, Archmaster of House Redoran. Yeah, boy. May Vivek guide you to glory. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I also just took off my gloves. <laughs> I guess we can't wear the whole ebony set, huh? All right, so like I said, at the end of the video, we're going to progress time until the stronghold is complete, and then we are going to check it out. Also, that sword is amazing. Looks so cool. Not so much with our chest piece and helmet, but <laughs> we're also super slow because we're near encumbered. Hello. Just going to hang out with you and so these last couple days, I like to think Valdrin has consolidated his power, you know, taken out the uh, dissenters who would oppose him <laughs> and our stronghold should be complete now. It is finished. You have a home to rival that of many House Redoran councils. You have my attention, Outlander. Let's go check it out. But first, all right, I <clears throat> I want to like that helmet, but I just can't. <laughs> there you go. We look pretty awesome, actually. I really like ebony armor in this game, even if we don't have the helmet. And that die katana is just so cool. So let's check out the house then. As you can see, there's our old curious on the floor there. Sort of the landmark of the area. Got ourselves a guard tower. Archmaster of Redoran, how may I serve you? Ooh, they even address us as Archmaster. That's awesome. She's a hard woman, all right. So we got a guard tower. Pretty cool. I think these are just random houses for the people to live in. No, oh, this one's like a shop. That's kind of cool. Blessing of Amsavi. Hello. Spells and a spell maker. Whatever your desire. You are here now. What can I do for you, friend? The lady that we freed for some reason. <laughs> and then, of course, there's our big house. Which I do have a mod for, so. This is different than it normally is in Vanilla Marland. Don't know how. I I probably should have checked to see the differences, but supposedly it's bigger. I, I think this is supposed to be our room. Some potions, some chests, some nicely laid out gear. And then there's our guard barracks. So it's not the biggest thing ever, right? It's it's basically like a fighter's guild, maybe a little smaller than a fighter's guild, but it's it's our home and we have guards and we have wives. So yeah, it's not the the nicest house of all time, but it's ours and we built it and we earned it and we spent the money and the time, dedicated ourselves to House Redorand, and now we are the arch master of the house. And that's pretty awesome. Thank you for watching and peace out.